Hi, welcome to Sienna's Chalk Talk. My name is Wayne Hickey, and I'm an advisor for product marketing at Sienna. Today, I'd like to talk to you about FiberDeep. FiberDeep is an HFC or hybrid fiber coax architecture, synonymous with pushing optical fiber deeper into the access network and closer to the customer. In HFC, fiber is used for the network backbone and coaxial cable in the distribution to the home. If you're like a lot of people, you get your cable and data services delivered on HFC, but there are limits to the legacy deployment. Cable operators look to fiber deep to allow them to enhance customer quality experience, make a greener effort, and simplify operations. As an example, think of how much better your life would be if the congested roads that you traveled were modernized to be bigger, faster, and much more efficient. Things like going out for dinner, work, or moving can take different modes of travel and vehicles in size and capacity, while pushing fiber deeper into the access will allow much more flexibility for existing and future services, not to mention higher capacity. For the past two decades, HFC has been an extensible asset for the cable industry, from node splits and switch digital video to plant upgrades and analog reclamation. As a fiber to the node, or FTN technology, HFC was built with the understanding that multiple system operators, or MSOs, would want to extend the fiber element closer to their customer. However, cable operators now face a motivation to move quicker as they race to provide gigabit broadband services. Entertainment consumption habits are also changing with the recent explosion of over-the-top video streaming. Let's talk about the technology that makes this happen. In today's cable infrastructure, the HFC downstream path typically uses analog optics, and the upstream path, or the reverse path, has both analog and digital optics while power-hungry and efficient RF amplifiers are used from the fiber node to the home. For MSOs, fiber deep is about increasing network capacity and reducing operational costs by reducing or eliminating the requirement of legacy radio frequency amplifiers. Removal of the RF amplifiers and the shortening of coaxial cable runs has the effect of reducing the size of the service area or subscriber areas, allowing the following benefits. Improved bandwidth capacity. Reduce operational expenses in terms of troublesome RF equipment and power. Improve network performance and availability. Another concern for current HFC networks is that video and data infrastructures are deployed across separate platforms. Broadband and VoIP services typically use cable modem termination systems. And digital video channels are deployed with edge quadrature amplitude modulation, or QAM. The unintended consequence of this was that cable operators had to duplicate stacks of equipment in multiple head ends. For cable operators, this method of deployment was too expensive and unsustainable. To provide enough future growth, operators look towards an IP video transport on a single converged cable access platform, or CCAP. In the next decade, there are two access architectures cable operators can go, CAA or DAA, centralized or distributed. Digital optics can support both CAA and DAA, so the choice is clear for digital optical migration. Additionally, for cable MSO operators, converting HFC plant from linear optics to digital optics is very compelling as they segment or upgrade their plant. By moving to digital optics, there are other benefits like longer distances, increased capacity, lower cost optics, and higher throughput via DOCSIS technologies. With digital optics, packet-based networks can provide better scaling and are completely transparent to DOCSIS and FTTH strategies allowing for the use of both residential and enterprise use. For cable operators, pushing fiber deeper means that there will be many more optical nodes, head-end optical transceivers, CMTS ports, and less costly RF and head-end equipment. As most MSOs are fiber challenged, they will look to digital optics for bandwidth and packet-based networks for scalability. Using fiber technologies like coherent optics and DWDM, MSOs can increase the capacity and segment fiber node traffic using low-cost digital optics to connect fiber nodes to intelligent hub nodes for aggregation and efficient transport into intelligent head ends with the use of their choice of 100 gigabit or 400 gigabit optics. These are exciting times for cable operators. Pushing fiber deeper into the access will continue the trend of HFC laying the groundwork for massive packet service and speed upgrades for many years to come. And remember, he who controls the remote controls the world.